Welcome back to Jack Recaps. The movie begins by showing two orphan children named Li Xin and Cheng Diao, who have just been bought by an old man named Uncle Wo to serve as slaves. Despite the difficult life, they strive to survive and show compassion for each other. It turns out they share a common interest and dream of becoming great generals after witnessing the greatness of a general named Oki. In their free time after collecting and chopping wood, Shin and Diao train in the forest using wooden swords they crafted. Over the years, they consistently train together to improve their fighting skills and agility. One day, while practicing together, General Cheng observes Diao's skill in combat with a sword and praises him. The next day, General Cheng visits Uncle Wo's house to inform him that the royal kingdom is recruiting soldiers from various regions. He seeks permission to take Diao to the kingdom to train as a special soldier. Although Xin doesn't get the same opportunity as Diao, he is happy for his friend and supports him in achieving his dream. That night, before parting ways, Diao and Xin have a final sword fight and promise each other to continue pursuing their dreams. Determined, Xin vows to train harder to match Diao's skill and become a royal soldier, one step closer to their dream of becoming great generals. In the following days, Xin begins the challenging training to enhance his sword fighting techniques. Due to his rigorous training, his combat skills improve even more, he can easily split a large rock using only his wooden sword. After a few days of rest in his hut, Shin is surprised by Diao's arrival, who has a serious wound. Weak and wounded, Diao explains that there has been a coup in the kingdom, and the younger brother of the king sent an assassin to overthrow him. In the chaos, royal officials sacrificed Diao by appointing him to impersonate the king. Before losing his life, he instructs Shin to go to a village hidden in the mountains with a map he provides. He explains that Shin will meet a group of warriors in the village who can train him to become a stronger warrior. That night, Shin runs swiftly toward the village mentioned by Diao. However, on the way, he is surrounded by a group of bandits, and he must fight them. Fortunately, thanks to the intense training he underwent, he easily defeats all the members of the gang. After continuing his journey, Shin finally reached his destination and found a small hut where King Yuan is currently residing after escaping the kingdom. King Yuan explained to Shin that General Cheng brought Diao to the kingdom because he bears a striking resemblance to King Yuan. They planned to deceive the royal officials who betrayed them and orchestrated the coup, along with King Yuan's younger brother, Prince Reggie. On the other hand, some royal army members went to Uncle Wo's house and discovered Diao's lifeless body. Prince Reggie's accomplice, General Ji, realized that the person he killed earlier was not King Yuan but a commoner named Diao. Meanwhile, upon learning that the kingdom deceived and sacrificed Diao, Xin felt intense anger towards King Yuan. As they argued, an assassin sent by Prince Reggie suddenly appeared at their hideout with the intention of assassinating the king. The assassin urged Xin to kill King Yuan, claiming it was the royal official's orders and that he was the one who killed Diao. Instead of listening to the assassin's words, Shin attacked him, suspecting that the assassin was responsible for his friend's death. After an intense battle with various frightening attacks, Shin managed to defeat the assassin. After the fight, he returned to King Yuan and expressed his dismay, unable to accept Diao's death. However, King Yuan tried to calm him down, explaining that all of Diao's suffering was a sacrifice to save the entire kingdom. King Yuan revealed that he needed to stay alive to prevent the king's power from falling into the hands of his corrupt and ruthless younger brother because if that happened, the kingdom would surely be destroyed. King Yuan encouraged Shin to join him in forming a new army and reclaim the throne from Prince Reggie to ensure that Diao's sacrifice and loss of life would not be in vain. On the other hand, Prince Reggie felt extreme anger upon learning that King Yuan was still alive. Because of this, he ordered his accomplice assassins to pursue his elder brother. The next day, while King Yuan and Shin were walking through the forest, they were suddenly attacked by an assassin using a poison needle as a weapon. Shin fought against the assassin until he managed to strike the opponent's neck. After successfully defeating the assassin, Shin suddenly lost consciousness due to the poison needle's impact on his body. Fortunately, King Yuan was able to save him and took care of him until he recovered. When Shin woke up from his sleep, they were surprised by the presence of a group of royal army members who entered their hideout. Fortunately, this royal army was still loyal to General Cheng, who remained faithful to King Yuan. After declaring his loyalty to the king, 
General Chang helped them formulate a strategy to reclaim the throne from Prince Reggie. On the other hand, even though Prince Reggie has not yet succeeded in overthrowing King Yuan, he decided to declare himself the new king in front of the entire kingdom's army. Meanwhile, King Yuan was concerned because he had a limited army compared to his brother's forces. Upon hearing this, the general advised him to meet with the mountain tribe and seek their assistance in forming a larger army alliance. Agreeing with the suggestion, King Yuan immediately ordered the entire army to begin their journey towards the mountain tribe. After undergoing a long journey, King Yuan and his army finally reached the border region of the mountain tribes. However, upon their arrival, they were not warmly welcomed by the tribes, instead, they were captured. Facing the tribe's leader, King Yuan conveyed his intentions and requested assistance in reclaiming the royal throne currently held by his younger brother. The tribe leaders initially rejected his plea, citing the betrayal they experienced from the past royal officials, which resulted in the downfall of many tribe members. Unwilling to give up easily, King Yuan apologized to all tribe members for the mistakes of the previous royal officials. Upon hearing the sincerity in his apology, the tribe leader decided to forgive him and agreed to help reclaim the throne. The mountain tribes also formed an alliance with King Yuan's army to attack the royal palace. Afterward, King Yuan and others began strategizing to attack the royal forces from various directions. He assigned Xin and General Cheng as leaders of the first army, while he disguised himself as a member of the mountain tribe, leading the second army alongside the tribespeople and the tribe leader. The next day, after the mountain tribe and King Yuan's army arrived in the kingdom, they faced the royal commander, who declared that his entire troop would join Prince Reggie's kingdom army. Upon hearing the good intentions of the mountain tribes, the royal commander allowed them to enter the kingdom. Subsequently, the mountain tribes and King Yuan's army successfully entered the kingdom and immediately attacked the soldiers guarding the gate. Afterward, King Yuan instructed Shen and the first army to take a secret route, while he and the second army would advance through the main route with the tribe leaders. Once inside, a massive battle ensued between the mountain tribes and the soldiers defending the kingdom. Utilizing their combat skills and physical strength, the mountain tribes, led by King Yuan, managed to defeat the majority of the royal soldiers. On the other hand, Shin and the first squad had to face a powerful giant monster to navigate through the secret passage. Although they initially struggled to defeat the monster, Shin eventually succeeded in killing it using a powerful sword technique, similar to what he did with the large rock. Shin and the first squad quickly entered the palace to confront Prince Reggie. However, the prince remained arrogant and relaxed on his throne, calling upon one of the kingdom's best generals, General Ji. Prince Reggie challenged Shin to a one-on-one -on -one duel against General Ji, and our hero readily accepted the challenge without hesitation. The battle between the two was intense, as both displayed remarkable skills and swordsmanship. Nevertheless, Shin showed greater courage and determination than General Ji, ultimately winning the duel. After witnessing General Ji fall before him, Prince Reggie decided to escape from the palace. However, he found himself surrounded by King Yuan and the Mountain Tribe army at the palace gates. King Yuan easily defeated Prince Reggie, using a single strike. Soon after, the strongest general from the neighboring kingdom, General Oki, approached King Yuan and asked why he needed to engage in battle. King Yuan responded that he needed to reclaim the throne to prevent the abuse of power by traitors. His goal was to unify all the kingdoms in Japan to create justice and peace for everyone. Upon hearing his explanation, General Oki agreed to his request and promised to help him achieve his goal. However, one of the loyal royal generals to Prince Reggie couldn't accept King Yuan's success and immediately ordered his men to attack General Oki and King Yuan. With full confidence, General Oki easily defeated all the soldiers with a single attack. Upon seeing this, the general who still supported Prince Reggie became furious and moved to attack King Yuan. Fortunately, Shin quickly intervened, blocking the general's attack and directly striking him with his sword, resulting in his demise. Shin's heroic actions were praised by General Oki, who remarked that one day Shin would become one of the strongest generals in the kingdom. After praising Shin, General Oki and his troops left the kingdom. However, before leaving, Shin gave his name to General Oki and asked him to remember it. Now that Prince Reggie has been defeated, and all the traitorous generals have been eliminated, King Yuan, the Mountain Tribe, 
and his army celebrated their victory as they successfully took back the throne from the treacherous prince. Before leaving the palace, the leader of the mountain tribe rewarded Shin with a sword of tribe as a token of appreciation for his bravery. With the recognition of a great general and the support of the entire mountain tribe, Shin is now closer to his dream of becoming an excellent general in the future, and this is where the movie concludes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, and make sure to hit the notification bell to stay tuned for the upcoming uploads. Thank you very much for watching.